Martha Reeves is an American soul singer, actress, author, and former politician, who is best known as the lead singer of the Motown girl group Martha Reeves and the Vandellas. She was born on July 18, 1941 in Eufaula, Alabama, and was the first daughter and third child of Elijah Joshua Reeves and Ruby Lee Gilmore Reeves. She grew up in a large family of 11 children, and developed a passion for singing at an early age. She sang in her church choir, school glee club and local talent shows. In 1957, she moved to Detroit, Michigan with her family, and soon joined a vocal group called The Fascinations. However, she left the group before they recorded any songs. She then joined another group called The Delphi's, which consisted of Gloria Williams, Rosalind Ashford, and Annette Beard. They recorded a single called I'll Let You Know in 1961, but it did not achieve much success. In 1962, Martha got a job as a secretary at Motown Records, where she also occasionally sang backup vocals for other artists. One day, she was asked to fill in for Mary Wells, who failed to show up for a recording session with Marvin Gaye. The result was the hit song, Stubborn Kind of Fellow, which launched Martha's career as a singer. She was soon signed as a solo artist by Motown founder Barry Gordy, but he later decided to team her up with the Delphi's, who had also joined the label. They changed their name to Martha and the Vandellas, and released their first single, I'll Have to Let Him Go, in 1962. Martha and the Vandellas soon became one of the most popular and successful girl groups of the 1960s, with a string of hit songs that blended soul, pop and rock music. Some of their most famous songs include, Come and Get These Memories, Heat Wave, Quicksand, Nowhere to Run, My Baby Loves Me, I'm Ready for Love, Jimmy Mack, and their signature tune, Dancing in the Street, which became an anthem for the Civil Rights Movement one. The group also toured extensively across the US and abroad, and performed on various TV shows such as The Ed Sullivan Show, Shindig, and Hullabaloo. However, the group also faced some challenges and changes over the years. In 1964, Annette Beard left the group to start a family, and was replaced by Betty Kelly. In 1967, Kelly was fired from the group after a dispute with Martha, and was replaced by Lois Reeves, Martha's younger sister. In 1968, Martha suffered a nervous breakdown after the assassination of Martin Luther King Jr., and took a hiatus from performing. She also developed a drug addiction that affected her health and career one. In 1972, Martha left Motown Records after a legal battle with Barry Gordy over royalties and creative control. She also disbanded the Vandellas, and pursued a solo career with other labels such as MCA and Arista One. As a solo artist, Martha released several albums and singles, but none of them matched the success of her earlier work with the Vandellas. Some of her notable solo songs include, Power of Love, Wild Night, Love Don't Come No Stronger, and Skating on Thin Ice. She also ventured into acting, appearing in films such as Willie Dynamite, 1974, The Last Dragon, 1985, and Fairy Tales, 1979. She also wrote an autobiography called Dancing in the Street, Confessions of a Motown Diva, 1994, which revealed her personal struggles and triumphs. In addition to her musical career, Martha also became involved in politics. In 2005, she ran for city council in Detroit, Michigan, and won a seat representing District 4. She served as a councilwoman until 2009, when she lost her re-election bid. During her tenure, she advocated for improving public services, preserving historic buildings and promoting arts and culture in the city. Martha has been married twice in her life. Her first marriage was to a man named Wiley in 1967, whom she met during a tour in Las Vegas. However, the marriage was short-lived and ended in divorce. Her second marriage was to Willie D in the early 1970s, but it also ended in divorce soon after.
Martha is still active in the music industry, and continues to perform with the Vandellas, who now consist of her sisters Lois and Delphine. She also performs as a solo artist, and has collaborated with other musicians such as Dave Stewart, Beverly Knight and the Blues Brothers. She has received numerous awards and honors for her contributions to music, such as a Grammy Hall of Fame Award, a Rhythm and Blues Foundation Pioneer Award, a Rock and Roll Hall of Fame induction and a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. As of 2023, Martha Reeves is 82 years old, and has an estimated net worth of $5 million. She lives in an apartment in Eufaula, Alabama, where she was born. She is a Christian. She has black hair and brown eyes, and does not have any tattoos or smoke. She is known for her smile and her chic hairstyle. She is still married to her husband Willie D, and has one son named Eric Reeves. She is one of the greatest soul singers of all time, thanks to her time with the Vandellas and her successful solo career. Remember, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so. Hope this was informative video about Martha Reeves, and thanks for watching. For more videos such as this, please subscribe and click the bell icon so as to get notified once a new video has been uploaded. We would also like to know your thought about this production, please share in the comment section below. See you in the next video.